Hey everyone, we are back to do another 12.5.2.1 video. And we are just doing our uh, Hendersonville route. This is Hendersonville, North Carolina. And we're, we are leaving from Carl Zandberg. See if it'll let me enable it in the parking lot. Go. So, um, every previous version coming out onto this road right here would accelerate too hard and cause traction control to slip. And that was on dry ground. Completely dry, hadn't rained in days. And here we are, wet ground. We're gonna see if they adjusted that at all. There were a couple small improvements like this on the first drive. So there's a good chance it could, could do it here. Yep, still still slipped. They need to be maybe slightly improved, but it's hard to tell because of the rain. And of course, then we we it's like it feels robotic instead of instead of like human like because of the AI. It feels robotic right here. It does the same thing every time, like it's pre-programmed to accelerate too aggressively right there, regardless that there's a car in front of me slowing down. I was still accelerating. So stuff like that was like what old versions would do pre pre version twelve. Um, um, like old version 11 would do that. It's so interesting that like this section seems to be like not version 12 for some reason. Just just this section right here. But yeah. Um, otherwise, I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. This is I'm I'm really really hoping this update comes to you guys soon because I, honestly I think and at least in my area like every one of these versions 12.4.1, 12.4.2, 12.4.3. Well, 12.4.3 is kind of gray area but still 12.5 all the 12.5 so far every single version has been better than 12.3.6 in my area it just I don't I'm not quite sure why they haven't released it unless it's just maybe other areas are not performing as well um I wanted to get um Jordan Gisigi from the limited factor he there is a well we got a fire truck behind us This is going to be a disengagement, almost guaranteed. We're, because you're supposed to... Yeah, disengaging. Disengaging for the fire truck going by. My car would have went around this car. I'm like, that's not something you do, it's illegal. Okay, I'm pressing the accelerator. Okay, get back on the road, car. Okay, I wanted to press that camera button. And make sure they got that. That's a very rare scenario. I have it. I have this. I don't know why I'm. I'm a hard time breathing today. Like no stuff here or something. I haven't had. Hey, and they fixed this light here. And it's still slowing down for this intersection. It's not a blinking yellow. That's weird. Anyways, um, I haven't had to pull over for an emergency vehicle in a very long time. There's one past video probably somewhere. I have, actually, I have a playlist called Edge Cases, which I really haven't been uh, adding um, any videos to just because I really haven't seen any Edge Cases recently, in recent times. This, I mean, I call that an Edge Case, I guess. I haven't had this in six plus months, maybe over a year since the last time I've had to pull over for an emergency vehicle like that. So, it's a rare scenario. And the car can't do it right now, because, yeah, it just wasn't responding soon enough. But yeah, that was, um, that was good. So unfortunately we had to disengage on this one because, because of that, you know, I consider it an edge case. Because how often, well, he's here, you don't, you don't have that very often. That's not a common scenario. But it has to be able to handle that. They need more training data from emergency vehicles and what to do to pull off the road and to, um, yeah. So hopefully they get this training data and they improve um, for everyone else. But that, in my opinion, has to happen for robo taxis. Like you, you have to be able to respond to emergency vehicles correctly. And we are coming into town now. So let's see how it does get in this intersection. The last version was absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it, 
gotten so that right where this car is going exactly perfect like this this is exactly what it should be doing like it couldn't have been better right there the fact that we had a car in front of us that made the scenario different than last time again back to uh, both versions did this turn perfectly that this was the crutch achilles heel of this route was this turn almost in, in the past it would just fail so often if you would um if you want to go to the playlist link down below the like button you'll see this route and then you'll see just look for the disengagements because uh, oftentimes there will always be a comment or a disengagement or a chapter for this turn and it just that was great that on the projected left super good it's just yeah i couldn't ask for better in, on that on that type of behavior it's doing really well it also it seems to be doing really well on this turn so it's such a sharp turn with the car when when there's the car sitting right there that it every single time it just seems to do really well. Now we do have a car in front of us that's going slower than I would probably be going, but it has been slowing for these railroad tracks here, and like totally totally appropriate speed. Now what it's been doing is that this curve right here, uh, it the car would be slowing down unnecessarily in the last version, for sure last version, and I think the last couple of versions. Like, I guess that's okay because of the car that turned off there. And now it needs to get over and not be intimidated by the cars that oncoming. Yeah, let's see if it's gonna pull into the parking lot. So this is, this is like kind of a good test for you to check out Auto Park. Oh, this is wrong. Uh, well, wrong based on the route. No. Okay, well, I'm not going to count that disengagement because this is the end of the route traditionally in terms of, you know, where you going. But obviously, you know, look, it turned on and turned down the wrong route. Um, so, I mean, screw it. We're going to add that in here because we're going to, because traditionally it doesn't count because we'd always disengage in the middle of the road anyway. However, um, Got to make this harder. Got to make it more difficult. We're starting to add parking lots in here. Um, by end of year, I would think they would have parking lots added. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. What we're gonna go do to downtown after this, and we'll see you after we get back. Hey everyone, let's see how it does getting out of this parking lot. So I'm not actually gonna enable it quite yet. Okay. There's a giant pothole here, and. Don't care for it to just go through the pothole for no reason. But I will enable. We'll enable it right here. So there's a car coming from the left. There's actually multiple cars coming from the left. And again, it's. I wish I wish you could see the B pillar on this view. That's doing so well again. I just didn't think it would. At least this soon be able to do that type of logic. It it knows a, the car is going before the blockage, like the the visual blockage. It can it can see like it's just poor weather. It's just sprinkling. <laughs> okay. Also, this car smells. Wow, and it started going, it started going, even though the other car was still in the intersection. This is really human behavior. This is really nice. Yeah, yeah. This is, this is the type of stuff that's like, like, it's just so much better than 12.3.6 was. I just, I don't understand why Tesla is waiting so long to release that, unless they're just trying to blow, like, blow everyone's mind. They're trying to get them so used to 12.3.6 that, you know, 12.5 is just going to be, like, absolutely incredible. You know, they can't, like, can't have hardly any people complaining about it or something. But maybe it's because it is hands-free, you know? And maybe that's why. But, uh, it, it really, to me, the biggest thing that needs to be changed are speed limits. You need to fix, fix how fast it's going. The speed control. They need to work on that. And we'll just, we'll just kind of see how, how it does here. Uh, it's just... The, the speed control really seems to be most of my interventions and or disengagements at this point. Yeah, there's exceptions like we had that fire truck earlier. 
but otherwise the car in most situations does really well and I, I really think by next year there was going to be a Tesla robot actually somewhere in the United States um, actually functioning whether it's like you know not open to the public or not there's going to be a car that does not need a human in it right, roaming around somewhere in the US or far from Tesla to be very specific so we have a full year and like three months for that to happen. Now that we're on this road, I'm gonna cancel that. I wish I just get it the route correctly where I want. That's something you need to work on. And seeing that it really appears they are are working on it. They are making some tangible progress. Oh, okay. You gotta run a red light. Nice. With a person at the stopwalk. It wasn't, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't slowing down. Ah, <sighs> God, okay. Well, um, nice. I have seen human pilot run these lights before. Without question, a human pilot has run, ran these lights before. That's just, that's just a little bit annoying. It wants to go down there. I yeah, see, I don't, I want to keep on going down Main Street car. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna have to go all the way down Main Street and then enable that route. Well, it it correctly brake for that uh, cyclist coming out across the crosswalk there. And this is good, you're gonna three rail light, so that's fine. But yeah, it was definitely like the fact that it had a pedestrian waiting there and it tried to run the red light. That is, mm, I don't know, man. Yeah, maybe, maybe they need another point release on this one. The fact that it tried to run a red light with a pedestrian sitting there. Or standing there. Alright, VRU is the correct terminology. Vulnerable road user. It was annoying when I disengaged. I guess because I wasn't routed anywhere. That's why it, uh, it didn't let me do a... Uh, Okay, that was I guess appropriate. I would have waited behind that car personally, but I think I think that was appropriate. Let's see if I can get it to go into the parking lot here. Yeah, it's just it's not gonna go. It's not gonna go in that parking lot. It Tesla needs to have precise navigation points. Like it has the road map there. It can even use satellite view to know hey, this drivable space right here, I can get there. But it chooses not to. Uh, so that's, that's, they need to really improve that. And is it gonna, yeah, it's gonna get in this lane. The problem is it's not gonna get in this parking lot. Yeah. It's just the end of the route. Um, so obviously not gonna count that because the, the navigation wasn't telling it where to go correctly. And of course, auto park is not going to work correctly here because you have to pull in. See, for instance, it's not going to see it doesn't let me poke this one and wants to back in right here. You have to, by law, unfortunately, you have to pull in right here. Yeah, so everyone, um, yeah, I guess they tried to run a red light and it had to pull over first uh, a um, fire truck. So while this wasn't by um, disengagement metrics not the best drive ever there's still a few improvements and you'll see those down down in the chapters uh, below the like button but yeah just let me know if you have any questions and I will see you in the next video